Welcome to another edition of Out There Nomad. In this episode, I'm going to be giving a review of the Kelty Cosmic Down 40 degree bag. Let's get out there. How's it going everybody? I hope everybody's been doing great, been able to still get out there amongst all the craziness that's been going on. Take care of yourselves. So today, let's talk about some sleeping bags. This is the sleeping bag I took with me on my Pacific Crest Trail attempt this last year. Um, and honestly, it really held up the entire time. I enjoyed it. Uh, there was a couple of little things that I'll get into here in a bit that were mostly my fault. But the Kelty Cosmic Down 40 degree. Let's see if I can get it to, there we go. 40. This one, uh, says it's comfortable down to about 35. I feel like uh, the temperature range is right in there. Uh, this is a great sleeping bag for the desert type conditions that I was going through in the southern portion of uh, the Pacific Crest Trail. And honestly for like really late spring, summer, um, and maybe some early, early fall, this is gonna be a great sleeping bag. Uh, it fits at a regular, which is what I got, it fits a six foot person. Um, that was one of the issues I ran into while I was on trail. Uh, I am slightly taller than six feet and I should have gotten along and that's my fault. And I caused some damage to the bag, which I'll show you a little bit later in the video. Um, but really pay attention to the size. It'll have it on the bottom of the stuff sack if I can get it to, on this one it says regular. I should have gotten along. Um, it would have fit me just fine. And for the long version, it fits a person up to about 6'6". And for weight, it's running at regular, it's running at one pound, uh, 9.7 ounces. Uh, for the long version, it's one pound, 12 ounces. So I personally, it would have been worth it for me to go ahead and get the long version. And it would have worked out a lot better for me. For the pack size, uh, honestly, for the price, even in the, the stuff sack that it comes into, or comes in it's uh, 12 inches by about seven inches but I mean you can get this much much more compact if you really really wanted to for some trips and you wouldn't have to worry necessarily for storing it that that way for as long as you're on trail and doing stuff with it you don't want to store it long term like that but let's go ahead and pull this thing out and take a look at it okay so let's go ahead and unpack this real quick Honestly, it's a traditional style mummy bag, so I'm not really gonna get too much into too many details. I think most people that at least are that are watching this type of content know what a mummy bag is. Um, but Kelty does a pretty decent job with the construction of these. It is only one uh, stitch on the seams. Um, I did end up getting a couple of little burns here and there. Uh, mostly from cooking or and or sleeping by fires and stuff. Uh, a little bit of uh, Gorilla Tape, which I was packing with me, really helps for something like this. The top comes into the closure on the, on the top there. The loft isn't bad on a bag like this. And honestly, for the 40 degrees that it, it claims to keep you warm in, it does the job. And it also has a little electronics pocket right here on the front. And really, unless you have a small phone, you're not going to get your phone in there. I mean, might be able to get my phone in there. Let's see. Never actually used it. Yeah, well, I guess my phone does fit in there. So yeah, if you have a phone roughly Samsung size or whatever, it'll, I guess, fit in there. So, has the drawstring all the way down. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It does leave... Of roughly that much space for the footbox. Uh, footbox does have baffling on the bottom, so it opens up a little bit. Gives you a little bit more room for your feet in the bottom there. The one issue I did run into with this bag um, while I was on trail, and I think it was mostly my fault, uh, was on the back one night. It got a little bit chilly. I was uh, in the mountains a little bit higher elevation so the temperature dropped lower than I was expecting and when I was sleeping one night I tried to stretch inside this thing and pulled a little bit too tight and pulled the seam out a little bit right there um, but that was also because I bought the regular and not the long like I was saying before so that's I think that's mostly my fault 
But as you can see, this bag, after even that many miles, and I've done other trails and other hikes with it and stuff, still holding up really well. So I think for the investment, you're going to get multiple years of use out of something like this. And I think it's definitely worth the money. So to wrap things up, I think that this is a great sleeping bag. Uh, it comes in at about $139 retail, or $139.95 retail. Um, it's a great uh, summer sleeping bag. You can augment this with a uh, sleeping bag liner to drop the rating a little bit and make yourself a little bit more comfortable. Um, but really, for the price point, it's not bad. Um, I feel like it could be a little bit cheaper, but honestly, I, it did everything I wanted it to, and it's still going to keep going. Uh, for anything from base camping, hiking, uh, long distance hiking, obviously, I took this with me, and bike camp, or bike uh, packing like I am doing today. Uh, this would be a great uh, sleeping bag, I think, for a lot of different people, so consider the Cosmic Bound series, and Kelty's, Kelty's actually, as a brand, has really surprised me. If you guys feel like you get value out of these videos and want to see more of them go ahead and hit the subscribe button ding that like smash the bell notification and i'll see you next time we're getting out there have a great one take care everybody